Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about the new palette that Jaclyn Hill did with Morphe brushes. Oops. <laughs> with Morphe brushes. Okay, so my dog is flailing around right now with a toy, but at least she's occupied. So I'm going to be talking to you guys about the new palette that Jaclyn Hill created or curated, I guess, with Morphe brushes. So it's all of her favorite shades, and on the back of the palette has a really pretty picture of her. And it says, I collaborated with Morphe to bring you a palette of my favorite colors from their collection. These shadows are so pigmented, and the best part is that they are affordable. So many of you requested a palette with my top Morphe shadows, so here it is. I hope you enjoy and tag me in makeup looks that you create. Love you guys, XO Jacqueline. Congratulations to you, Jacqueline. That is so awesome that you have your own freaking palette of all your favorite shadows. That's really, really cool to see. And I'm sorry, I still sound kind of nasally right now because I'm like trying to get over the flu still. But anyway... I did get the palette a couple, actually I think I just got it yesterday, and I wore it yesterday and I wore it today. Obviously I'm wearing it right now. This is actually my first time trying out any of the Morphe eyeshadows or products in general, which I'm really excited about that I got this palette because I've been wanting to try their products. I was actually just about to drive to Burbank to go get some stuff because I've been wanting to try it so bad and I've heard so many good things about it. So this is my first time, and this is pretty much like a first impressions video. This is the 28 shades in the palette right here, and they are pretty much more on the warm side, which is totally okay. I love warm shadows, but I still love my cool undertone shadows. Anyway, like I said, this is my first time trying out this brand as far as their makeup goes. But when I first swatched this, I couldn't even believe it, how high quality they were. Not only just the swatching, but then when I actually put it on with a brush, I was really, really impressed with the pigmentation and the blending ability of these eyeshadows I was like really in shock even though I've heard so many good things about it it's way different when you actually feel it and see it in person so here is the palette of all the shades and it has a really pretty arrangement of orange colors I think Jacqueline did a really good job on putting together and curating kind of like a brownish coppery orange section that's going to be flattering on all different skin tones so I'm actually wearing it right now normally I don't really gravitate towards a lot of warm or orange undertoned shadows I typically stray away from it but with this section I was actually overwhelmed with how pretty it was I couldn't believe it so I really do love all of the orange and really warm undertone colors that are in here like these nine shadows over here but I also love the purpley kind of pink shadows over here which is another surprise for me because I typically don't go in that direction but I did do a look the other day where I did a really hot pink cut crease eyeshadow look using this color and then also this and then a couple other shades in here I was just really impressed with the pigmentation I haven't really seen that with a less expensive eyeshadow brand I definitely recommend buying it it goes for $27.99 and I know Jaclyn has a coupon code I think it's Jack Attack I'll put it down below I'm not sure exactly what it was but I think it's a really great value and this whole arrangement of colors you have the purples you have the neutrals, you have the pinks, you have one green shadow, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, and then you have all the really warm undertone brown shades, and then also a few really pretty color orange and coppery shades. I think this would go really well with a lot of different skin tones. Even me, I don't love to wear really warm or orangey toned shades that often, but I found myself to be really gravitated towards this section. So I think this would be a really great investment. Not only that, but if it's your first time uh, basically being introduced to the Morphe brand as far as their makeup goes, it's pretty good because you get a really versatile palette that has a lot of different shades in it and you get to try out their products which is pretty awesome because their eyeshadows are actually a very high quality so what I'm gonna be doing in the video today is I have obviously my review of this palette which is a glowing review I think it's awesome palette I'm gonna be doing swatches and then also at the end of this video I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for this eyeshadow look that I have on right now okay so here is the first row of swatches the very top one it has most of the champagne shimmery colors now in the second row we have a lot of really pretty taupe blending shades and then also some of the really intensely pigmented shimmery shades like the copper and the frosty taupe shade. In the third row we have some pinks, um, our champagne colors, and, and also some deeper transition colors. And then in the very bottom row is where most of the bold shades are. So here we have like the cranberry shimmery colors and then some of the deeper and more bolder shades. And now we're going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial and I'm going to show you guys how I use the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette to get this look. So first I'm going to be prepping my eye with a base. This is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. 
And my first transition color that I'm using is, well I don't really know the name of it, so it's this one. And I'm using a really fluffy blending brush. This brush is from Crown. I don't have the exact name of it, but I will link it down below. And I'm going to be buffing this into my upper and outer crease. Next I'm going to be taking this deep brown maroon shade with a MAC 217 brush and I'm going to be packing it on my outer V and also on the inner V I guess I would call it and creating a halo type of smoky eye. And I layer this one quite a bit just that way I can get it really dark on the sides and then kind of softer in the crease. So once I get that burgundy shade to the darkness that I want it, I actually wanted to come back in with this really pretty, I'm gonna call it carrot color, and another MAC 217 brush, this one's a clean one, and I'm gonna add that to the outer edges just to make everything look a little bit more orangey. And I feel like that really helped to blend everything together too. And then I'm just gonna duplicate everything that I did on the top on the bottom lash line, so I'm adding that dark maroon brown color, and then I also come in with the MAC 217 brush. Yes, it's a very big brush to use under your eye, um, but that's what I use to add that orange carrot color. For the eyeshadow base, I'm taking this OCC cream color base in the color Icarus, which is obviously gold. And I'm showing you on my hand here so that way you can see um, what it is. So on the right, I swatched the Icarus color, and on the left is the really gold intense Morphe shade by itself and on the right I put the Morphe shade on top of it. Normally this would intensify an eyeshadow, but this eyeshadow is already so intense on its own, it doesn't really need an eyeshadow base. But I did it on the left side, so I had to do it on the right side too. So I'm just adding it directly to my lid, right in the center where there's no eyeshadow, and then I put the bronzy carrot shimmery shade directly on top of that. Then I like to just come back in with that 217 brush that I had the darker burgundy shade and kind of buff everything together. And then I like to take a pencil brush just to make it a little bit deeper on the outer and inner corner. I just add a black eyeshadow, just a regular black eyeshadow, just on the outer edge and the inner corner of the eye. And then once we're all done with that, I just come back in with that first crown brush that I used and kind of buff everything together on the outer edges. And I did just want to add a little bit of glitter too, just because. Um, this is an Inglot glitter number 62. It's a very gold, yellow gold color. And then I add that directly onto the lid color just to add a little bit of reflection. And now I'm going to add a dark brown pencil liner. This one is from LA Girl in the color dark brown to the waterline just to make it a little bit smoky without making it too dark. And then I add my mascara and then I'm going to add some false lashes. These are Coco Lashes and Goddess. And then we are all done with this look. And then also in this video, just so you guys know, I wore this lip gloss. This is from The Balm and it's called Snap. It's a really pretty color. Very similar to Lime Crime's Cashmere, but it's a gloss instead. And here are just a few photos of the finished eyeshadow look. Okay, so that wraps up the tutorial, review, and the swatches. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't gone to the Morphe website and bought your Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette yet, I suggest you go do it because it's an awesome palette and it's totally worth it. Anyway, um, Zoe's eating my feet now, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Ow! <laughs>